Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Transport Fever 2. So in today's video, we're going to start out by setting up some routes for a couple of additional cities that I found since we were last together. And then we're going to check back in on our existing routes and see how they're doing, see if maybe there's some adjustments and tweaks we need to make, whether it's adding some more vehicles or maybe taking some away from the route if we've got uh, too many for the demand that we have. So we're going to start out today in Los Angeles, so a great place to start because the wrenches, which for gaming purposes, they are known as tools, but I'll call them wrenches most of the time, and those are pretty simple to make. We start out with some raw wood, turn the wood into planks, and then turn those planks into the tools or the wrenches. So that should be a pretty simple process. Uh, the one thing will be, do I want to try to make a more direct route here, save a little bit of time? Probably not at the beginning, but it is certainly a possibility going forward. You can see we're up over 1.1 million right now. Money is coming in. We saw at the end of the last video that we were certainly starting to see some returns on our uh, investments. All right, so again, we're going to make sure that our... Our factory is highlighted, in this case the lumber yard. So we're going to get about as far away from it as we can, more or less. And then, let's see, this one I don't think I'm going to be able to get by. Oh, it will let me get by going this far away. Okay, I like that. We'll stick fairly close to it though, because remember we got another leg of this afterwards, which is going to take us over to the actual finished goods. And we'll drop this one off about right there. Okay, and then finally into LA. So we're looking for where to set these up. Okay, so we don't have to go very far into the town. So we'll simply just drop these off about right here. Again, leaving some room for additional bus stops for passengers later on. Okay, I like that. Again, very simple. Wood, planks, and then finally into our tools. All right, let's set up our first lines. And again, you better remember exactly where the locations were because otherwise you're going to be in trouble because it does not show the icons. So we're going to go LA. And this is for wood. Then the next one is LA for planks. And then finally, we're going to go LA wrenches. All right, I think that takes care of that part of it. Now, where do we want to put our, our depot? I'll sort of drop it out here uh, a little bit. I think right at about here should be good. Again, I don't want to interrupt any potential intersections, and I think intersections are going to run right through there. So I think we're going to be out of the way for that. All right, let's purchase some vehicles. So around 1.2 million right now. And I'm just simply going to stick with our starting quantity of 20 for this right now. The great thing is, as time goes on, you get access to better technology, better transportation that is more capacity and can go faster then we won't need as many. So that'll be a good thing, but for right now, we need to load it up. All right, so we're gonna go with the wood for those, and then we're gonna come back and do 10 to get us started on uh, the planks. And then finally, uh, let's do about seven, which is probably too many, truth be told. Uh, for the wrenches, taking them actually into the town. So that'll get Los Angeles started uh, growing. And then the next thing I wanted to do was take a look at uh, actually another of my favorite city names, which is Yonkers. But we're down a little bit on money. So before we get into that, let's try to let the game run a little bit, see if we can't make a little money, and we'll come back to them. Uh, and the reason is for them, I think... We can get some bricks set up here. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. 
And if we come across the water, so we're going to have to put up a bridge, but we've got our brick factory here, and we've got a couple of areas where we can get uh, our stone. I'm thinking about putting a, a road straight down through here to make things a little easier, cut a little time off of this. Uh, but again, in the future, we'll be doing this with a railroad, so we'll definitely do that with the railroad. We'll see what we end up doing with uh, the actual road itself. So let's actually come back up to the top where it all started. Costa Mesa, let's see how we're doing. So we saw last time, let's go ahead and, and filter this down to only those we can currently see in our view on the map. We have 30 vehicles currently operating on this. And as we back out a little bit, you can see there is a very consistent flow going back and forth on this particular route. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can see we're making some very nice money. And as I mentioned before, when we move to the railroads, this is going to be a huge money maker for us. Okay, then as we take a look at uh, the oil portion of this route, the second leg, uh, we've got plenty of demand. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Uh, we can actually use a little bit more here, maybe a few more vehicles to keep this running. Let's see, how many do we have? We got 30, 20, yeah, we can afford uh, some additional ones there. So let's go ahead and expand these uh, because if we don't get to Yonkers in today's video, that's no problem, we'll get there in the future. Let's go ahead and put five more out here. So we want this to be Costa Mesa oil. Again, just trying to keep that flow as consistent as we can get it uh, while keeping an eye out for uh, the supply that we have. So here we're looking at 36. Okay, and all right, so we've got to ignore these guys. We just bought them. So we have mm, not a great flow here. We could use a few additional on that particular route. Uh, let's come into, excuse me, fuel. We've got seven on there right now, which is the amount we started with. Uh, let's go ahead and add a few additional ones. We'll just add, uh, we'll do three. Take us up to 10. All right, so the more successful deliveries we can make and the more we can keep these guys full and making these deliveries, the more money we can make. So whenever I see this type of, of information out there, I know that we have room for more uh, vehicles. Okay, so the next place I believe was Surprise. So let's take a look at what we've got lined up here. Uh, you can see plenty of demand. Let's take a look, just sort of stretch out a little bit. So as we zoom out, we see a pretty consistent flow. Of course, it's hard to tell exactly uh, how many of these are on the wheat route and how many of these are taking food into the city, but we've got a pretty consistent flow overall on the wheat side of things, but we definitely have room for some additional. Now on the food side of things, not so much. So let's go ahead and try to get more wheat down here uh, to be turned into food. And the way we do that is by purchasing some more vehicles. We're going to go ahead and just put 10 more on this route. Spend a little bit of money, but I'm perfectly fine with that. So we want surprise wheat. So if, if this farm over here is going to continue producing wheat and putting it out here for us, then by all means, we want to make sure we get it delivered so that we can make the second leg of this more profitable. Uh, let's go ahead and configure this, add a little bit more space out here. There we go. Again, not necessarily because we need the capacity right now, but because I want to give a little bit more room for these guys to operate in here. All right, so as you can see, the wheat being dropped off over here, not only are we making money, but of course it is spurring on the creation of the food, which is awesome. So more wheat delivered, more food that gets produced. And of course, over time, what will happen is if we have the demand necessary for it, then these individual plants will start to increase their production from 100 up to 200 and I believe 400 is the max uh, if memory serves me correctly maybe even higher than that but there's quite a bit of room to expand now let's come over and take a look at where we are with rock okay wow 
rock is actually quite low. But I notice over here with the brick, we need to go ahead and expand that one some more because we are apparently not picking up all of the bricks that we have available. There are 10 there. Rock, we have 20, which seems to be doing the job there. Let's actually take a little bit better look at the flow. And yeah, that's not bad. Flow plus, we've already seen that we don't have any backups, which is a little bit surprising there. But it looks like we might actually be able to use uh, a couple of these vehicles over on the other line to help out with some of these bricks. So in fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's come over to our rock and let's pause things for a moment. Now, the best idea would be to pick out the individual ones and move them around. Or you can simply come in here to the vehicle manager and do them that way. The bad part about coming into the vehicle manager is you don't know where these vehicles are. They might be very close to completing a drop off, which would make us some money. Or they might have just dropped off, so it would be the optimum time. So you've got plenty of options there. Uh, let's go ahead and see what these guys are doing. This guy, I notice, is just made a drop off. So let's go ahead and change the line he is on and put him on bricks. All right, and let's see, anybody else? 42, that should be good. We'll do a couple of these guys right now. Okay, you can see him turn around real quickly on the road so that he can get back to his new route. So that should give us a little bit of time for hopefully the rock to accumulate a little bit and, and continue to give us full loads. Because the last thing we want to do is have so many out here that we're getting a lot of this. A lot of this two out of four. We don't really want to do that long term. So that's why we're going to move around some of these vehicles as much as we can and see if that helps over a period of time. So now, Surprise is the only town we currently have that are getting both of the goods that they're requesting. So if we take a look, we're at 40 and 50% respectively on these, but look at the amount of growth. So we're at 1859, so not very far into the game, less than 10 years into the game. And already we started at 127 people. Now we're up to 264. That is a huge increase. So basically doubled the size of this town just by what we've done so far. So that would figure to be one of our bigger cities as time goes on. Also, I notice that our money has grown quite a bit. We're at almost 1.1 million. Now, I'm still hesitating to uh, head back down to Yonkers and get started on it because I know we're going to have to build a bridge and maybe do some additional road work. So I'm going to hold off on that a little bit. Instead, we're going to come back over to LA and see how things are going there. So first and foremost, how are we doing on our supply? Oh, we need to configure this and do a little expansion here. And we'll go ahead and give them a few extra. So again, that just lengthens this out. So 150, so we're certainly uh, not overkill on the number of vehicles. We're at 20. So now that tells me I want to be up to about 30. All right, so let's go buy vehicles. And we're going to add 10 more in here. So what we want to do is, let's see, this is going to be L.A. Wood. Okay, now let's come back into the second leg of this, which it looks like we already need to expand it as well. Give ourselves a little bit more room in here. All right, so that's not... Not too bad. Uh, the coverage isn't huge here. You can see we've got plenty of, of gaps in the road here. So we've got room for some additional. And of course, we've also expanded the supply that's going to be coming in here. So this 38, uh, I believe we've got room for some additional vehicles. So let's do exactly that. Let's add five more. And we want to go LA planks. Okay, now we come back over and see how demand is going here. And once again, we'll give these guys a little bit of additional room. It's not a huge cost. You know, it'll cost you fifty to 75000 to, you know, add uh, two or three more expansions in here. So not a huge expense uh, and certainly not anything that's going to break us. All right, so 23. 
not too bad. I would uh, expect that number to increase given that we've added vehicles to other parts of the journey. Now let's come back down to uh, Yonkers and see what we have available here. I see a great place to just sort of connect right through here if we can. So let's just see what that's going to cost us. We know we're going to need to do this eventually, so I don't feel too bad about doing the street, uh, even if we don't use this immediately. So if I try to go across right there, 179. Okay, so 218 on the bridge. Eh, it's not the, not the least expensive thing we can do. The other thing you need to pay attention to is how this affects your waterways, especially if you plan on using... Uh, ships later on in the game. I generally don't have much luck with ships, so I'm not going to worry too much about blocking uh, the waterways here. So we're going to go ahead and complete that. The other thing I want to see is what happens... How much would this cost? So 229 uh, not bad. I'm not going to spend that money just yet. Uh, because like I said before, we'll end up putting a railroad down through here, so we'll save our money for now, and we'll start setting up uh, the basics of what we need. So we'll go under buildings, we want cargo, and let's see, how far away can I get? Oh wow, I can get a good distance away here. All right, so somewhere along in here will be perfectly fine. So we need to go from there down to right here and again I'm going to try to see how far I can get away from the actual factory and we'll go about right there okay and I think that will be pretty good so we've cut a little bit of the distance off of this and it might not seem like a lot of distance but as quickly as time passes particularly when you're using uh, the 4x speed time passes pretty quickly and this can be two or three days early game in the transportation all right, so now to finish off the final leg of the journey, let's see where the bricks are located. Okay, so we've got a couple of spots for those. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop in about right there. And that should be perfect. So we get our first routes for Yonkers. And this would be stone. Then our second line is going to be actually into the city itself. Yonkers and uh, what are we delivering here? I forgot. So let's back out a little bit. And oh, these are the bricks. Yeah, there we go. So again, this is one of those times where it would be really nice if it would leave the icons up there because sometimes I definitely We'll forget these things. All right, so lines are set up. Now we need a, a depot. And again, I'm going to put this depot over here in the city because as time passes, that will be a prime location for it to be located. All right, let's go ahead and leave a little bit of room, drop it a little bit off the road itself. And let's start making some purchases. We're up to 1.4 million right now. So that should give us enough money. Considering where we started the video, that'll be really nice. All right, so once again, we're going to start with 20 here. Uh, but I got a feeling we're going to need a lot more than that pretty quickly. All right, so we want stone. Okay, that puts us right at a million. And so for the next leg of this journey, we're going to put it at... We're going to start with 10. And Yonkers, we're going to go bricks. Okay, for some reason I had in my head that we were had uh, three legs to this journey rather than just simply the two. And now we know that we need to come in and give a little bit more room for our cargo here. All right, that'll be good enough for right now. You can see it's already coming in and by the time these guys can make the trip over, it should be quite full. Okay, here we'll go ahead and expand a little bit as well, just to give our guys um, a little room. Actually, I need to see what we are... 
see what terminals we're using. So the bricks will be on this side. Okay, so that'll tell me where I want to expand. Uh, we could expand, and it would certainly help on both sides, no doubt. But for right now, we'll just ex uh, expand on the side that's actually going to house the finished bricks. All right, so here they come. Our first... Oh, wow, that looks like about everybody. So let's make sure that's what I had intended. So we've got 10 on the second route, 20 on the first. There we go. So they just all happen to be right there together. So we'll see these first 20. They'll move right on by. And then the others will head back into the city and, again, operate at a loss, at least for the time being. All right, so we've in today's video, we've been able to not only do some, some updates and change around some things to hopefully make more money and more efficiency for ourselves, but we've also added a couple of new cities between Yonkers and then we move up a little bit and see LA. So we're slowly expanding our transport empire. And of course, that is always a beautiful thing. So as we end today's video, let's take a quick look at all of our routes, not just the ones we can see right now. We have a couple that are operating at a loss, and not surprisingly, it's the ones that we just got through setting up. Okay, so no problem there. So if we look at the most profitable right now, uh, it is exactly what I would expect. The raw materials, crude, wood, rock, wheat, all of those are at the very top, and we should be making some nice money. Let's take a look real quickly at our finances. Now, you're still going to see a lot of red uh, or very small profit amounts simply because we're investing a lot of money in new stations and new vehicles. You can see here in 1862, which is what we were been doing primarily in today's video, we spent $859,000 on additional uh, expansion. So we only lost 233000 So that tells me, just by looking at these numbers, we're doing pretty good. So what I'll do now is I will start looking for additional cities that maybe we can set up some fairly easy routes to for some money. And then when we come back uh, the next time, we'll once again be looking for some additional upgrades, maybe some uh, fine tuning on these routes. And then eventually we'll get into some railroads. So that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Transport Fever.